Hello everybody, I am Lizix, and today I'm going to be showing off something really, really important for all PC players and all PC l players who love Rock Band. This is the only Rock Band game that has ever been made for PC, it's called Rock Band VR. And recently, it got support for custom songs. Thank you so much to Emma or Inboxy Play Games for this. So anyway, as you can see, I already have a couple of custom songs here. And if you actually look at my ARC files, you can see the game usually starts with four up to main PC4. I have a couple more. We'll be getting to that later. But first off, let's go to method one, which is probably the easiest method of converting a Clone Hero song into Rock Band VR. You can also convert Rock Band 3 songs in a similar method. For this first method, you're going to need Onyx and... Um, Forge tool, both will be linked in the description. Uh, so go ahead in Onyx, grab whatever songs you want to convert from Clone Hero. Um, for ease of use, we're going to be using the way it ends from Guitar Hero 3. Click Rock Band 3 in the batch process. If you're adding more songs, add them now. Click Batch Process, and then click... As, as long as there's a guitar part, this will work just fine. Just click Create Xbox 360 Con. Give it a minute, and it will create a con. If you specify a folder, it will go there. If you don't specify a folder, it will just go right in the folder where your song originally was. We'll give that a second. Alright, there we go. We have our custom song here, our RB3 Con. You're gonna need an RB3 Con for this to work. Right there, there it is. All right, so now open up a command prompt. This is only in the CLI version of um, Forge Tool, unfortunately. I don't know if we'll ever see a one for the GUI version, but go ahead and use the CD command and then drag in the folder where Forge Tool CLI is. I've already done that. Once you've done that, type in Forge Tool con to VR space, drag in your rb3con file, drag in your Rock Band VR folder, with the space after your, your uh, rb3con folder, press enter, it'll convert the song, and if you look in here, we have the way it ends. Next, what you're going to want to do is open up Gammon Config. You are going to need Gammon installed. Gammon is um, Gammon installed to your Rock Band VR folder. Gammon is like um, an Oculus emulator, so you can play Oculus games on non-Oculus VR headsets. So Vive, Index, Mixed Reality headset, any of those. I'm actually using an Oculus, but I'm using Gammon Config because of uh, other, not specifically legal reasons. You, you get the point. So in gamma config, type DLC equals, take this, um, add the following DLC SKUs, take this, copy it, paste it after the DLC space equals space, paste, save. You can see I have a, a couple of custom, well, a custom, and then this is, uh, the song that we got from the person who ripped this game for us to use. And then we go ahead and open up Rock Band VR. And after we save, I already have my VR headset set up, so should just boot into the game here. Look up, there we go, VR headset. Just, I just needed to wake it up. So as you can see, big R, this is what Rock Band VR looks like. Um, don't question it. This is how it looks. As you can see, this is a VR headset. I'm moving it around a little crazily, but uh, I, I usually leave it, um, as you can probably hear, I'm standing up, so I leave it right on top of my monitor, which is on top of my desk, and it gives it a good <laughs> up eye view, uh, so the fretboard doesn't look too weird. Because in my opinion, having it um, down too low uh, makes the fretboard look a little awkward. There we go. Game is loaded. Continue on to the main menu. Go over to Quick Play. 
classic mode. And as you can see, I have a couple of customs already in here. Let's just go ahead and scroll down to W, because we added the way it ends. We're going to be scrolling for a while. Just, just give it a minute. We'll, we'll be there eventually. The way it ends, right there. Start it up. And as you can see, let's just go ahead and move the camera. It is all set up, it is working. This is a Guitar Hero 3 song in uh, Rock Band VR, as uh, weird as that seems. So anyway, that is uh, the way it ends. But the thing is, with this method, there is a limit. So these, you could, you have a limit of 53 SKUs, which is a limit of 53 songs. Why 53? I don't know, that's just how Gammon works. If you go above 53 songs, or SKUs, the unlock for the songs, it will crash, and your Rock Band VR won't load up. Uh, so, to bypass that, there is a quick and dirty hack that I made. So, let's say I have this pack of songs, pack of Exilord songs, and I want to convert it, but it pretty much puts me at the limit. It's 45 songs. That gives me less than 10 songs to add on top of that. So, for this conversion method, uh, you, you would also need Onyx for this if you're converting Clone Hero songs. I already did that part. I made a um, packed con that has all of the songs in it already. So, you're also going to need Forge Tool again. And another thing you're going to need is um, Arc Helper, part of Mac Aloha. So, to create this custom pack, or use these songs as a custom pack in Rock Band VR, type in Forge Tool con to VR dash dash no arc space drag in your con file and then again drag in your rock band VR folder or it can really be any folder as long as you can remember where you put the songs uh, or wherever you put that folder press enter it will give it a minute, it will convert all the songs, and once that's done, we'll be back. And there we go. It has all of the customs, as you can see, it wrote all of them. Conversion complete! That's how you know it's done. Then you can see the uh, songs folder here. And as you can see, this might explain it pretty well. Add the songs folder to your main RMVVR arc using Patch Creator in Arc Helper. So what we're going to do is open another command prompt, uh, use the cd command, drag in the folder where your arc helper is, type arc helper patch creator dash a, this is where you put your files in, your songs folder, oh, space after dash a, my bad, dash o, space, your Rock Band VR folder, and then space after that, and you drag in this main pc.hdr file. Just like that. Make sure you, before you do anything with Arc Helper or Patch Creator, make a backup of main pc.hdr. Please, if you screw something up, and you mess up your HDR, and you don't have a backup, that's gone. You have to re-download the whole game all over again. It's not fun. I've had to do it before. So just make a backup of the main PC. As you can see, I already have a fifth um, ARC file, which isn't normal, a main PC5. This has a bunch of custom songs. It is um, Circuit Breaker, fully converted, and uh, I'll have a link to that in the description if you want to have that. Um, but as you can see, in this back folder, I have 
a backup of main PC HDR and my fifth arc. So just in case I screw something up with the fifth arc or main PC, I'm good. Press enter. It will add all of the files. All 45 songs. It will execute the file changes, as you can see. This error is normal. It's because we're um, not adding the executable, which isn't necessary. You don't need to add the executable. So as long as your ARC file is larger than zero kilobytes and your HDR changed, as you can see, it's now 698 instead of, what was it originally? 668. So it def the songs are definitely in. Now with that done, open up Rock Band VR again. And you'll see we have even more customs without using a single SKU. I think it's a pretty fair trade-off. But of course that's up to you to decide would you rather spend some time um, possibly ruining your um, Rock Band VR files but with nearly limitless songs or would you want to be limited to only 53? I'll leave that up to you. It's not my choice. We're gonna wait for the game to load, and you'll see that we have a bunch of Exile Lord songs. Alright, the game has loaded up. Uh, hold on, let me just... Shit. Stand still. My controller won't hold still, so it's kind of a pain. There we go. Continue. Here we are in the main menu again. Over to Quick Play. Into the classic mode. One more time. And you can already see Amalgamation right there, by Exile Lord, and boom! Just like that, 53, or not, well, over 53 custom songs. So, um, let's pick a, an Exile Lord song that definitely just screams me. Let's do, let's, let's do Shamble Frost. Shamble Frost is the classic me Exile Lord song. There we go, it's loading up. Oh, my cursor's on the screen. Don't mind me, I'm just a little stupid. Works flawlessly if you've played Rock Band VR or Rock Band 4 before. Rock Band VR feels very similar to that. But I think that's all for today's video. It's just showing off the two methods that there are for Rock Band VR customs. I'll have another video showing off some other somewhat more impressive, somewhat less impressive mods for Rock Band VR. It is still the early days of Rock Band VR modding. There's nothing deluxe coming out anytime soon so don't expect that if you have any questions related to this tutorial uh go ahead and drop by mile hacks rock band vr hacks rbvr hacks um i'll be there maybe answering questions maybe making mods either way hopefully you enjoyed this video Hopefully you enjoy Rock Band VR and custom songs. Unfortunately, this only works with classic mode. I should have mentioned that at the start. I'm Lizix. Peace out.